Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Darren Corbett if you're new here and today is another POV. I like to do POVs a lot on this channel if you don't know and I feel like I haven't edited this one yet. I haven't seen how it's going as I'm filming this but I feel like when I filmed this POV earlier I had so much fun and I feel like I got some good shots. So for today's POV I travelled further out of Norwich today. I'm not in the market where I usually am. I travelled about 40 minutes out of Norwich into a town called Cromer and they had this amazing pier there. I had never seen it before. I see like loads of people visiting and taking photos and I've always wanted to go there. And I saw that it was like going to be like an overcast day, lots of wind, lots of rain. And I kind of saw that as an opportunity to go there and maybe get some nice photos. And I wanted to try out another film simulation. If you've seen previous POVs of mine, you'll see that I put my own edits up there and I'll occasionally show you like what a film simulation looks like as well because I always shoot uh, fine and raw. So basically I'm shooting raw and JPEG at the same time. The JPEGs I put a film simulation on and sometimes I'll show you what they look like and sometimes I'll just show you my edit on the raw. But as it was such like an overcast day, um, I thought that I could just go there and use classic chrome because I feel like classic chrome would be really good for this kind of photography. All the photos that you're about to see in this video are straight out of camera JPEGs. I don't think I'm going to be editing them at all. If anything, it'll just be like maybe a little crop or something like that. So everything you're going to see, classic chrome simulation. Thank you for clicking on this video um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Bye! Hello, hope you are well. We are starting off this POV in a car park, taking photos of this lovely vintage bus. I saw it when I was sorting out the pay and display and I was like, damn, I need to take some photos of this. This looks amazing. So these are classic chromes that you're seeing straight out of camera, hence why they're not necessarily the straightest or the best cropping because they're literally straight out of camera. But I am adding some of my edits in here. So that little switch click was my edit. I decided to edit the photos of this bus because I just felt like the classic chrome weren't necessarily doing the bus justice. It kind of desaturated the color of the main uh, unit. So I kind of put on my own edit there, as you can see in this one as well. And I kind of added more of a vintage feel. I feel like I definitely saturated those orange tones more than classic chrome does. And Nothing against classic chrome at all. I feel like it did really well in the rest of the POV, but I just really like these photos of the car and I wanted to see if I could make them look even more vintage. So again, there's my edit there. And unless there's like a little switch click in this video showing you a different edit, these are all classic chrome JPEGs. I didn't want to stay taking photos of this bus for too long, even though I definitely could have done it for hours, but I'm not claiming to be a car photographer. <laughs> it was fun though, it was something different. I like this shot coming up here, um, where I just captured some of the detailing, kind of the chrome details on the, on the bus, and then I really like my edit. I feel like it really brings it home. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I turn around for one more little snappy snap of the <laughs> bus, and that's it for the the bus section of this video, no more vintage buses. It was definitely busy in Chroma, we're not even in the main section of it yet, we're kind of heading towards the pier. But I saw this kind of vintage shop, I actually tried to snap this guy's legs here, not literally, I mean like, you know, with the with the camera, <laughs> oh god. But um, yeah, the shutter speed wasn't fast enough, so I just moved on to this shot here. I feel like even the most simpler shots kind of have this certain charm with the classic Chrome simulation. Um, so these shots aren't anything special by any means, but I wanted to include them in because to me they just felt kind of classic. And then here I'm crossing the street and I saw this music store and I made a bean line for it. Um, if you don't know about me, before I got into photography I was more into music, like I play guitar and a few other little instruments, but I saw this violin bass and I had to take a photo of it. Pure Paul McCartney vibes. Uh, in the Beatles and if you don't know I love the Beatles have some lyrics from Let It Be tattooed on my arm here's another edit of a dog that I saw as I was passing it by so I don't show you I don't edit all of the photos that you see I most of the time I just let you see straight out of camera but I feel like some of the photos that I really enjoyed I couldn't resist editing 
So one thing that I really loved about Cromer straight off the bat was just how classic British seaside town kind of it felt. So as you can see here, there's like these, these shops here with like loads of souvenirs and accessories that people can buy and take onto the beach. And there was this woman stood there with her two dogs and I think she was staring at me the whole time, but couldn't resist taking a snap of that. So walking down the street here, I got two of my favorite shots of this day. I see this couple here in front of the shop window. They stare at me at the exact moment I snap the photo and I just love it. I love the red behind his head, just the whole feel of it. And I feel like I quite like my edit. And then this is the next shot of a guy enjoying his ice cream cone underneath an ice cream cone. Bloody brilliant. You wouldn't get that anywhere else, would you? I love this place. So this is Chroma Pier. You're seeing it for the first time as I did. I'd only seen it in photos and I've always wanted to visit and it just it looks great. Like it's not your typical pier. You've got this nice like landing leading up to it of all these curves and all these shapes. Really interesting pier and definitely fun to capture. So I'm 100% gonna go back. Just reminding you again, straight out of camera JPEG. So the horizon leveling is not there. I didn't level them because I'm not editing these. It's frustrating, I know. It's frustrating for me to watch as well. I just love all of the symmetry on the pier and just the potential to get some good shots. I saw this kind of curve at the edge and I thought I could try and get some leading lines going on. I did struggle with the Fuji film because it hasn't got a fully articulating screen. It's just got that kind of tilt screen, which a lot of people love because they don't like the articulating screens. but. I got this shot and I decided to edit it and use like a graduated filter to kind of draw your eye to the middle even more. It would have been perfect if there was a subject there. So without it, the shot kind of failed a bit, but you kind of saw what I was intending. And now we're on the pier and I just see this couple standing there and I feel like what he's wearing just perfectly complements the pier. So I decided to get a mixture of like portrait and landscape shots here. The landscape shots looked the best. So I kind of just followed them and just got some more shots here. I just love how much of the pier you can see. I love all the seagulls flying in the background. And I do really like what the classic chrome simulation was doing for most of these shots. It kind of just exaggerated the greyness of the day. <laughs> So what's great about the pier is you've got these lamp posts like right down the middle of them and they just look so classic to me and I definitely wanted to capture them in some photos with them being the main focal point as well as the benches. And as I was capturing them I was waiting for this guy to walk across and I captured him in full stride just to the left there and I feel like that really adds to the shot. Without it, it's okay. With it there's a bit more of interest there. And I composed this photo with the kid to the right and all the seagulls to the left. I feel like all the leading lines are just going straight to the kid. It's telling you exactly where your eyes should go, if that makes sense. I was constantly wiping the camera screen and the Osmo lens because I really didn't want there to be any water droplets on this. I didn't want you to be watching this video not really seeing what I'm shooting. So I'm glad that didn't happen. I feel like I kept pretty on top of it. Well done, past Aaron. Simple shot here, just capturing kind of the layers of the pier, the lamppost, the glass. I wish it was straighter. Hello. Hello. Quick job, yeah, go on then, if I can take... Go on. All right. <laughs> I'll take one of you. Just go, go stand over there and I'll just... <laughs> nice smile, come on. Nice I'm not it. used to being in front go of the on. camera. Smile. <laughs> I've got to right, take go. one, one of you. One more, one oh. more, smile. <laughs> there you go. I've got to take one of you now though, sorry. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, let me take this off. <laughs> what are you shooting on today? Nikon. Nice. I usually shoot um, on Canon, but I just bought this Fujifilm. Oh, um, okay. And it's got like inbuilt film simulations in. So I'm testing them out. They look cool today. When you say, oh, it's, oh like effects, special effects. Yeah, so it's, yeah, so you can shoot in black and white on this. And um, yeah, it's like a fixed, it's like a 35 mil equivalent. It's good. It's quite powerful. Yeah, yeah, for what it is, yeah. it's got the same sensor as a XT4. Yeah, this is a full frame camera. Yeah, so this is crop. Nice, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have um, I usually shoot on the EOS R, which is like the Canon's first mirrorless one. Yeah, and that's full frame. But this is just so fun to just walk around with. Yeah, it's point and shoot. <laughs> People think yeah. it's a film camera. Is it light? Yeah, really light. Yeah, because yeah, you can hold it with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> 
cameras with this, it's a bit heavy. But people just think it's a film camera, so they're not really intimidated oh, by I see. it. Oh, I see, yeah. So like, oh, I should just take this. video? Yeah, it does 4K. Yeah, <laughs> you too, have a nice day. I feel like I always come off sounding braggy when I talk about the X100V. I don't mean to, it's just generally like a brilliant camera. So here are the photos that I took of him. I was a bit nervous the whole time that he could have just ran away with the camera and I hate having photos taken of me, but you know, I ask people for photos. I've got to be prepared to have photos of me too. It's only fair. He was a really nice guy. I feel like other photographers trust more photographers. You know, like when you see bus drivers driving down the road and they see another bus driver and they give each other a little nod. I feel like we have that as photographers with other photographers. So even though I was a little bit nervous that he was going to run away with the Fuji, deep down I knew that he wouldn't. People are generally nice and not camera thieves. I feel like there was such a nice mix of people on the pier, like people of all ages, maybe of different backgrounds and families. And I just feel like it was really quite fun for our street photography. I definitely had a great time. Like this couple here, I don't know what they're doing, but they're, I think he's writing down something. They're writing down, maybe they're bird watching. But all I saw were seagulls. Another thing about the pier is there were tons of dogs, which is great for me because I love dogs. I love this little pug here. Hey, little fella. There were lots of people fishing as well and crabbing. And I saw these gentlemen to the left here and I wanted to kind of capture them, frame them to the left. And I'm sorry about this guy, but I caught him mid mouthful. Oops. There was also this adorable middle-aged couple that were walking around the pier basically the whole time I was and I didn't mean to follow them and stalk them and take photos of them. Street photography kind of does sound creepy to people that don't necessarily know much about it but I felt like they had some really good connection and I wanted to document that so it's not that I was following them I was capturing it. And in this photo, I decided to focus on the details, the hands, the embrace, and then more of the feet as well. And they were just super sweet. Another thing I loved about Chroma Pier was all of the benches that were just around pretty much every edge of the pier. It just gave some really great opportunities to capture some street photography. Like that couple there. I think I'm about to get another photo of a couple on the bench and I just feel like, again, such a British mentality, like it's freezing outside. But you know, we've been in lockdown, so let's put on our masks, put on our warmest clothing, sit on the pier and pretend like we're having a good time. So here I'm just taking more photos of the pier, but um, I decided to keep using that post on my right as part of foreground. So I stopped down to F2 to kind of make it more blurry rather than it being so obvious. I wanted to add to the photo without being a part of it, if that makes sense. And as we were here, I couldn't resist getting out the Canon EOS R with the 16-35 f4 lens. I was vlogging on this day, so I had it on me anyway. If you haven't seen that vlog, then I'll put that in the top right now. Go take a look at kind of like a behind the scenes of this day. But um, if you're here for Fuji footage, don't worry. This Canon camera is only in the frame for like a minute. I just couldn't resist getting some photos. Super wide angle, I feel like, just worked perfectly on the pier. I couldn't find uh, the settings for these photos, but I'm pretty sure they would have been shot at f4, 16mm uh, obviously, and probably like a shutter speed of about 125. I like to keep it low sometimes when I first start, just so I'm not using a high ISO, so my photos aren't grainy. Hello. Can I take a photo? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. Can I strike? Hello. Hello. You're lovely. I love taking photos of dogs so much, if you couldn't tell, and this dog was particularly amazing as you can see from all of these photos just so cute i'm chucking up some of my edits here just because i warmed them up a lot and with this photo i cropped in got rid of some of that distracting kind of i think it's my body <laughs> in the foreground really lovely dog you'll notice that when i take photos of dogs i always ask permission before i stroke them i think it's just a courteous thing to do 
I couldn't resist getting some gear shots of the Maya Cannon using the textures that on the pier. I just think it looked really good and came out really well in the edit. Look at that. Rosie was panicking the whole time that my camera was going to fall through the cracks. These tiny one centimeter cracks. That camera fall through the cracks and plummet to the ocean below. As I was waiting for Rosie to grab a drink, I saw this perfect guy. He was the perfect subject for street photography. He was vaping. He wore a flat cap. He just matched the whole vibe of the photos that I was going for. I couldn't resist chucking a black and white edit on these just to really show off that, that smoke. And I think I had a bit of grain as well. I just really loved that whole vibe going on there. The rain really was starting to pick up a bit now, but I saw this couple standing there with the reflections below, took a photo, it was a bit overexposed so I edited it, pulled back the highlights and kind of recovered some of that sky. I just really like that you can see kind of some of the reflection on the ground below. I was starting to walk up here and I saw this couple to my right and I really wanted to take a photo of them but he was staring me down the whole time. So didn't feel it was appropriate. You can't see it because the camera's in his face, but I wish you could. He was not happy with me. So I decided to move on and actually capture this people here. She turns her head as I do so, so it actually turned out pretty well for me. So we walked back to the car the way that we walked into town, just to see if I can get some of those last minute opportunities. But most people were heading in at this point due to the heavy rain. But this shot that I'm about to get is probably my favorite of the shoot. It's this woman who's framed between this open sign and this grey pole. I love that she's fiddling with her mask. I love the contrast of the red and the grey. And this is definitely my favourite photo of the shoot. I'm following a YouTuber called Evan Ranf, and he says he's happy with a shoot if he can get one good photo. So I'm trying to follow that philosophy because I think it's a great one. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button, takes half a second and helps me out hugely. But thank you again for watching. It's been lovely having you here on my channel and I'll leave you with my message like I always do. Be authentically you and kind to others too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.